Hello, this is Terrell Pauly with Healthcare IT Solutions. And in today's episode, or rather in today's video, rather, what I want to discuss is the actual uh, clinical radiology workflow at a hospital. Now, in one of my prior videos, I actually talked about the clinical workflow at an imaging center, and then, but today is for a hospital. And you can, in um, the, in the, the benefit of knowing like these types of different clinical workflows is that ha having a sense for that allows you to just become familiar. If you're, you know, if you're trying to get in within healthcare IT, trying to get started, trying to, you're trying to get more familiar with the field, just having a understanding of or seeing like the different types of radiology workflows will be helpful for you as you're attempting to get started in this space. So let's uh so now so let's let let's go over this example here that I have in the uh in the diagram. So let's just say for instance um in this example here that uh Jane uh falls down a flight of stairs and uh she has to go to the hospital. So Jane is kind of uh she's kind of messed up. So she falls down a flight of stairs, she's injured, so she has to be taken to the hospital. Okay, so she goes to the hospital. And, and you can actually kind of think about this uh, example, maybe if if you've ever had to, uh, if, if you've ever gone to the hospital um, and think about your own case to where if you had a instance where you had to go to the hospital and maybe you had to be seen and maybe you had to actually have a scan done that there on site at the hospital, whether it was MRI or CT or X-ray or uh or ultrasound or something like that, you can actually, uh, it, you can kind of relate better and you'll be able to maybe see it if you've actually see it a little better, if you actually experienced it yourself. So, so in our example here, Jane goes to the hospital, right? So she's got the hospital and at the front desk, uh, Jane's demographics and, and, and her symptoms, you know, has to be entered into the, into the hiss, the, a hospital information system. So, um, and, and so, so, so the, uh, so the, the, the front desk can get their information, get what's going on with her, get, you know, what problems she's having. And, and so, and then once that information is entered into the hospital inf information system, uh, which is, you know, short for his, then she is transferred to a, to, to a room. Okay. Uh, transferred into the back once she's, they, they've called her or they're, they're ready, ready to be seen. It's ready for her to be seen. You know, you sit out, sit out in the waiting area for a uh, certain time period. And then, you know, some hospitals, you wait longer than others, but then you'll go back into the, uh, you, they'll call you and you'll be seen. You go back into the room and then you'll be seen. So now the physician on duty uh, can read Jane's chart and, um, and, you know, and see, you know, read her symptoms uh, look, look, physically look at her and, uh, and see what she's hurt and see, and see what, um, how her, uh, you know, her, her injuries look. And then the physician recommends for Jane to have a, let's say, just say, a CT scan, a CAT scan. Okay. So now Jane is scheduled to get a CAT scan to see if maybe any of her bones have been broken or, or if they just are fractured or, you know, to get to see what's going on with Jane. So now at the next stage at uh, level two, the uh, so let's say so the CT modality to where Jane is going to be having her CAT scan done. So the modality itself is, is going to retrieve her demographics from the HIS from the hospital information system via modality work list. So I mean, for the modality work list. Uh, and that's via HO7. So this is where, uh, the, you know, when modalities, when they, you know, modalities can have a bunch of patients that are like, on, you know, you have a bunch of patients that you're doing a day, many patients. So in order to not have any uh, mess up with uh, getting, you know, having type in patient names and information manually um, what the 
what's standard is that or what should, should be standard in the industry is that there's a modality work list that you know comes from whatever information system uh, that houses the information so uh, in this instance here is the hiss so the modality will request the uh, patient uh, information from the his and so it'll it'll all come correctly it doesn't have to be typed in manually by the technologist that's doing the exam and it'll just have the you know uh patient's name maybe uh you know date of birth maybe so some some medical record number uh age whatever other pertinent information that that uh modality is requiring so i don't want to get too much uh in the details or weeds maybe so the um so the uh the modality retrieves the uh the demographic so the modality has the patient information for you know the patient jane's information and then jane is sent to radiology right she's sent back to radiology and her ct scan is performed now after her scan is done the images from the modality are sent to pax via DICOM and PAX is picture archive and communication system. Um, and then DICOM, you know, is uh, digital imaging communications in medicine. So, so in, in, uh, all of these, um, a lot of these, uh, different type of clinical information systems, uh, these, you know, PAX, HIS, uh, HL7, DICOM, I talk about all this stuff and I have other videos that are on my channel that you could take a look at if you're not familiar with, some of these terms that I'm going over. So you can take a look at that as well if, if needed. So, so Jane's, so Jane's, uh, her images are sent to PAX via DICOM. Okay. So, uh, now that her images are stored in PAX. Now at the third level, next step on a, on a workstation, a radiologist, uh, displays Jane's images from PAX, right? The radiologist opens up the exam and interprets them. So, so the radiologist can actually see, you know, read what's going on with Jane's exam. You know, they have uh, radiologists, trained professionals. Uh, they can see, look at the images that were taken and they can see, find out if Jane has indeed, if her, if her, uh, if she has any broken bones or fractures or if she's just injured and, and, uh, and things like that. And so from that the radiologist will interpret the images and create a report now um now that report is uh it's it's printed and in this in this instance it's printed and it's sent back to risk via hl7 i have risk in there did i have risk somewhere else maybe that should be his so that should be so sent back to let's say it's sent back to his uh via hl7 so now the hospital information system has Jane's report and the report is also printed. Uh, and so the f physician that's there on duty now is able to share the results with Jane from the report along, you know, along, you know, w with the report. And so then, so now from that point, from the report, uh, it'll have a recommendation of what needs to be done from, um, from the physician and uh, what, you know, from, from a combination of the report from the radiologist and Jane can receive the proper care needed for whatever level of injury that she actually sustained from that, from those uh, fall down the stairs. So this is just an example of a, of a, of a radiology workflow at a hospital. You know, things could be different, of course, uh, more, it could be much more complex depends on the hospital they they can have different uh, type of workflows involved but i just wanted to just to kind of give you an overview a brief overview like so you can kind of better um get get a better uh understanding of uh of of you know different types of clinical workflows so you can become familiar familiar have some sort of idea and it'll be helpful for you in your pursuit of your healthcare IT career so, um, again, if you've ever actually been to a, um, emergency room, then, then you can just think about your own experience and just look back and think about how, how the, 
the workflow, if you've actually been there yourself or if you've been there with uh, somebody, with a loved one or somebody else, then you, you can kind of think back of uh, of the actual workflow and the steps that were involved to actually get the treatment and care. So I hope that this uh, training tutorial right here was, was helpful on a clinical radiology workflow at a hospital. So if you like it, you know, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you can go ahead and subscribe and, um, you know, just leave anything in the comments if you have any questions or if you want to see if you have any uh, if you have any uh, types of videos or things that you want to see, you can also leave that in a comment. If you want me to, to go over anything that you have questions about, leave them, you know, leave them in the comments and, you know, I'll take a look and then I'll see them and. If it, uh, if it makes sense, then I'll just, do a, I'll just do a video about it. So I think that's it. So again, my name is Terrell Pauly with Healthcare IT Solutions. Until next time, take care.